All right, so here we are. Your robot is now built and complete. We've got it right here, and we are now on step three of the moves and turns lesson. And so what we're going to be doing here is trying some programming stacks that we can see right here in the code. So that you can see that they have provided us some code to try out here. And what I want you to do is kind of look at what do you see and can you describe the types of turns and, and, and more importantly, can you describe the turns along with the code? So you can see here we've got some event blocks here with this yellow and we have some movement blocks here with the pink. And so we also have, if I move this off to the side here, they've left some comments here. So you can see here that says when the left button is pressed, so that'll mean we'll have to press this button here then the program is going to start. You can see that it's going to move forward to two rotations. All right, and it's going to move backward for 720 degrees and then move forward for one second. Then we have when we press the right button as well. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we do that. So I've got my USB cable um, that you can see right here. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in into the robot here. There's this port right here called PC. We're going to go ahead and plug that in and when your computer robot's turned on, you can see here now on my screen it says Brick was successfully connected. And now I have here this dot on my software is now green. I know it's hard to see down in the bottom corner. And it shows my two motors. So I got B and C and they're both at three degrees. So what I want to do here now is I want to go ahead and run this code um, for them. And I can do it two ways. Because I'm tethered to my device, I could just hit play and it'll run the code. Now it'll have to stay um, plugged in here, or I could download it. All right, so I'm going to show you the download here first. If I hit download, There we go. Hopefully you heard that little da -da that lets you know that the code is completed. And now if I go here on the screen, it might be a little hard to see, I apologize. But I now have a move and turn folder. So what I did was, if I'm here, I'm going to push the right button to go over to that file folder. You can see I've got a bunch of folders. In my case, i got moves and turns, summer camp, and some other options. So I'm highlighting moves and turn. I'm going to use this dark gray button, hit enter. And you can now see that we've got several code files in here. In this case, just one, which is what this program is that we just downloaded. So if I use the down arrow, it'll go down one. And now if I set this down and run it, we should see the code. And actually, because it's downloaded, I can unplug it. It doesn't have to be connected. So let's see what happens here. Now, when we go to start up, you can see the lights are blinking, they're flashing, and that means that the robot is waiting a command. And remember, this sample code has left or right button. So I'm going to go ahead and press um, left here. There we go. And so it went forward two rotations, it went backward for 720 degrees, and then it moved forward for one second. Basically, three different ways for you to see movement. They're all doing relatively the same thing. The two rotations, the 720 degrees in one second, we're right back to our starting point. All right, so that's kind of cool. And then I'm going to start here and let's see let's do the right button and see what happens next and so what we've got here on this one is we've got three different turns and so we turn to the right using degrees we turn to the right you can see here with 13 or 1380 degrees and then we move to the right for two rotations. Now mine got snagged. I got I got like a wall here, so it, it, it stopped in that last one. But we're looking at different ways in which we can control turning as well. And so that's what we want you to explore in this, is to talk about this, think about it, go over the Slack channel, 
discuss what you think is going on, and can you describe actually what we saw with these turns? Did you notice anything different? Now, your flooring is going to make an impact in terms of the friction of your tires on that material, so different materials. Mine wasn't completely perfect, but if you run the, the video of the LEGO Education software, of course this robot is going to run perfect, you can kind of see a visual as well. So go ahead and test that code out. Go ahead and play with some of these, adjust these numbers here a little bit, whatever you like to do. And then over in the Slack channel, let's talk about it. What did you see? Can you describe the things? What new insights did you gain or learn um, from this little sample of the code here? All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace.